Hey guys, today I wanted to talk about the problem of the MPL. And I'm going to take the side because we all have to take sides of Savaz. Now he's being criticized for not streaming Magic over the past 17 days. He doesn't mention it in his Twitter. And he doesn't mention it in his Twitch profile. So no one actually knows that he plays Magic. So imagine you being paid $75,000 and you're so embarrassed to play MTG Arena that you never told anyone that you got paid $75,000 to play it. Now the Magic Pros have gotten upset and they didn't fight Savaz himself, they fought his wife. So let me repeat this again, all these people who are, you know, white knights, they are acting and behaving very poorly to the point that Stu had to delete his Twitter tweets, but luckily Reddit was able to copy and paste them into a interesting dialogue that I will share with you later. They definitely don't make Stu seem jelly. No, he was a mad jelly, mad jelly. Okay, Christina is Savaz's wife, and she replies to Stu, the hell is wrong with you? If you don't like the way MPL is being run, take it up with Wizards. The type of harassment will get you nowhere. Streaming is Savaz's job. This oh my gosh times deserves it more is both immature and has nothing to do with Savaz. Before I made a video, and I promised you that Savaz would have its own video, and here you go. Uh, the video was Savaz and Jessica Epstein in Autumn being replacements for Gary T. Owen Turnerwald, who has gone MIA, still missing in action. And of course, the Yuyu Watanabe, the guy who still does not believe he cheated. So then you have Stu. I honestly have no problem with Savaz. I actually enjoy the MTG streams when he actually has them. My issue is that he's given the money and from all appearances does not seem to care about magic or the community or has given anything back to it after giving him so much. The magic community that you are part of has done nothing but harass him from the start and tell him he doesn't deserve to be in the MPL. There isn't a way to make you people happy. When he streams magic, people come into blank. The only so much given here is shit. So what Stu doesn't realize is Savaz could have been sponsored by Hearthstone. He could have been sponsored by Fortnite. He couldn't be making more money, and that's why he's choosing not to stream MTG Arena. He's embarrassed by it. And frankly, he should be. I mean, imagine you're like Pokemon, Pokemon, or Lily Pichu, or Dr. Disrespect, Pewee... Huge is a little interesting because he actually plays magic. He loves magic. And so he's kind of a different issue. But imagine you go to Dr. Disrespect, who is now banned on Twitch, and you say, hey, we noticed that you got banned on Twitch for filming in bathrooms with little children. But okay, we want, we think you're on brand, right? You know, for the judges, right? We can encourage more judges to apply for judgeship in Magic the Gathering because that's what they do. He would laugh at you and he would make fun of Magic. It's the first sponsorship in Magic, many of you do not remember, but it was in South Park. South Park Magic the Gathering paid South Park when they first started money to promote it. And at the very end, Kenny says, blank you Magic. Or he said something like, Magic sucks. So Wizard Coast paid South Park to make a commercial about Magic the Gathering. And South Park decides, takes Wizard of Coast's money and decides to make a funny joke about Magic the Gathering. And that's how Magic has been treated forever. It's not new. Savaz hates Magic. It's clear that he doesn't want to play it. Uh, one of the interesting parts is these... A lot of the female streamers in particular, they don't play very much Magic and they don't actually know how to play Magic. So when there's a comment, and this is true, Wizard of the Coast, his main page said, hey, check out so-and-so female, I'm not going to say her name, female streamer, and she was playing like Daylight or some other game. Why would Wizard of the Coast say, check her out? 
I assume, like anyone clicking on it would assume that she would be playing MTG Arena at the time, right? But nope. And this has happened every single time where they're like, check out so-and-so female or male streamer. And then you click on the button and said streamer is streaming some PS4 game or Fortnite. And it's like, do any of these people stream magic? I will go ahead and say that if the guy being paid $75,000 a year to stream magic does not want to stream magic, you have a problem, right? Uh, so, And whenever you do a shout out of so-and-so streamer, and every time you click on the button, even if it's five minutes later, that person is not playing magic, they're playing some other game to... Honestly, I think they have to. I saw some data, which I'm going to provide. I'm going to pl- provide raw numbers so you know that I'm not lying and this is fact. The average streamer in the MPL gets 300 people. Like, is that a lot on Twitch? Because I know Dr. Disrespect on his toilet adventures, he had 60,000 plus live. And I'm pretty sure he gets more. And I know that Nick Merck gets about, you know, 20,000 plus on his streams for Fortnite. I don't know if 2,200 or 300, whatever the number is, is a good number. But it seems like really bad. Because if you multiply it by the, uh, apparently a bunch of people were also not streaming. So let's say 30 of them were streaming out 32, which I think even less were not streaming at the time. You have... And they're not even all unique viewers, but let's uh, giving Wizard Code the benefit of doubt. The reason they're going to cancel the MPL is because of this. You pay people, and they say "f you," just like South Park did all those years ago. I'm, they, you can find a commercial; it's somewhere on YouTube, where South Park was paid a hefty sum, and they just made fun of Magic. <laughs> Pretty funny, actually. Uh, very South Park esque. So here we have Patrick Sullivan saying that we should be skeptical and so on. The message is rude as hell. And it's bad. And I'm mad that Wizard Coast is allowing this to happen. Like, get over yourselves, right? Like, yes, there's no more Magic Pro League. You are all dunzo. But get over yourself. You're all dunzo. And that's fine. Um, Again, I'm going to go ahead and just make a very bold claim. And my bold claim is we shouldn't have the MPL. It's a waste of money. We shouldn't even have Magic Pro. Like, shouldn't we just make better cardboard and have better products? Like, do the main consumers, 99.9% of them, even care about a Pro Magic League? If the pros themselves, the ones being paid, do not care about a pro Magic League, how are we going to, why should I care about a pro Magic League? I don't. And no one else should either. Like, it's beyond confusing to me that, look, the numbers are really bad. The numbers are terrible. You're not going to pay $75,000 to get 300 people watching. And that's not even everybody. Not Like, Savaz is not even participating. There's plenty of people like him. Uh, I think there's like five or seven of them who didn't stream in a week or something like that. And now people are getting upset. They got rid of the Pro League. Oh, whining, whining, whining. I mean, it's almost like MTG Line video, right? Just continuously whining. We got to get rid of it. Make better cardboard products, sell it to Walmart, sell it like it's the card quality is still not as high as it used to be. Um, it's better, uh, they definitely have made improvements, but it's still not very good. It used to be a lot higher. Um, I have a store still, I'm signed for a year <laughs> contract. Even if I tell Walmart, don't give me any more magic blisters, they'll still dump them on me and charge me an invoice later probably charge me some interest if I don't pay so I'm kind of stuck in this situation where I'm stuck with a lot of magic cards and it's in my invested interest that the card quality go up that we get more players and this is not the way to do it 
you spend what? 75,000 times 32. And we don't know if we're still paying Owen. We might be paying Owen still. No one knows. One dude even quit. Gary T legit quit. He left probably the most money he's ever made in his life out of principle. And I respect that. But that tells you how bad the situation is. And now people are becoming jelly. And they're becoming not nice. And look. If Savaz is paid. And he does not want to play MTG Arena. The solution is not to give his spot to one of these people. That is the reverse of what we should be doing. We should give more spots from these pros to streamers. Now, if PewDiePie doesn't want to talk about it, oh, don't talk about it. But one stream from him is equivalent to how many streamers like on Twitch? Like, How much does Ninja get? It's more than 300. 300 is the number, the average number of viewers on an MPL stream. An MPL person stream. That's pathetic. My gosh, that's bad. Like... My gosh, that's bad. So my solution is very simple. Like this whole argument with Savas's wife and all of this stuff. And look, this guy doesn't need magic. He clearly does not need magic. Seventy-five thousand dollars is a drop in a bucket. He Hearthstone can match or pay him more. Look at Brian Kibler. He didn't need magic. He went to Hearthstone. He abandoned magic, right? Wise decision. The numbers that he currently has could not exist in Magic the Gathering. Now, Hearthstone, I heard from the grapevine, I'm not sure if anyone of you can confirm this, is dying now. And then that's why a lot of Hearthstone players are quitting Hearthstone and they're picking up MTG Arena. But there's no reason, there's no reason to be mad at this guy. Wizard of Coast picked him. They said, you are better than Every other person out there, minus the other 31 that we picked. And he is. Every stream that he streams, every time he streams Magic, he gets more viewers than all the MPL combined. So it's a business decision. I feel like this is the Wedge conversation where Wedge is yelling at Darium, and Darium doesn't understand because to Darium, it's business. But to Wedge, it's friendship and happiness and unicorns and rainbows. It's business. It's not personal. It's just business. You guys, no one wants to watch you guys. I watched a Jeff Hoogland stream, and it was pretty in interesting. He's kind of still salty, but he's definitely uh, not as salty as other people have said he was. However, I also watched um, a Efro stream. I believe he's in an MPL and I've watched Owen streams before he deleted them all. And they were just insanely boring. It's nine hours of a guy playing red deck wins. And occasionally he switches his deck to uh, Esper Control. And then it's nine hours of him playing two decks. Esper Control, red deck wins. So that's play testing. MTG Arena is just very boring. Like There's no other way I can put it except you either play red deck wins or Esper Control or you lose. I just want to win as fast as possible, so I play red deck wins every single time, so I am pro part of the problem, but I need to pick up those gold coins, and as you guys know, I have two accounts, so I need to, I can't really enjoy myself, i got to pick up these daily gold coins. It's fascinating how this is going to turn out, and I can tell you it's going to turn out very poorly. This is not going to end well for anybody. It's not going to end well for Saviz because he's getting trolled. It's not going to end well for Saviz's wife. It's not going to end well for these Magic Pros who seem very salty that they had to delete their tweets. And all the Magic Pros basically who are not in the top 32, not in the top 68 of these special invites, have lost their jobs. They've all lost their jobs and now they're angry. It's kind of like a South Park episode where, you know, they lost their jobs and now they don't have anything better to do except troll the wives of... The MPL members, like, <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, like I don't know. I'm going to side with Saviz here and his wife because I do feel like if Wizard Coast is dumb, if Wizard Coast is going to give you seventy five thousand dollars, why would you say no? Like, why would you say no? And his wife 
blanketly said Savise did not, Magic did not make Savise. That's what makes him unique. He's not he does not need magic. Magic needs him. PewDiePie does not need magic. Magic needs him. So whenever you have that dynamic, it's a lot different from, you know, let's say Yuya Watanabe who has to cheat in magic to win and to get his MPL and so on. Or Owen Turnwall, who will use his fame for notorious per or has been accused. He deleted uh, his all his tweets and I think he deleted his Twitch channel too. Not necessarily uh, a great look, right? I'm, I'm sure that if we went into de- and that's why I was watching his videos until he deleted them because I wanted to make a, a meme of uh, all the times he offended women, which was quite often actually. But luckily, there's other people to meme about on this same exact issue. <coughs> Peace, Gardner Oaf. All right. My point is very simple. Savaz is being paid $75,000 and he hates MTG Arena. Either stop paying him, but please, please do not give it to another Magic Pro because it's so incredibly boring to watch. Red deck wins versus red deck wins. I mean, there's no creative decks. Like, if you watch any of the MPL, they play the same two decks Control and Red deck wins. Yes, I know the card pool is not as big and we don't have modern or legacy card pools, but. My gosh, just try something new. Somebody try something new. And yes, I do know that there's, you know, what is it? $10 million of prizes or $100 million in prizes or something like that. And obviously at that point, you got to play the decks that win more often than not. But it's just sad. I feel sad for Saviz's wife. I feel sad for Saviz that our community has treated them so poorly. They have every right to take the money and run. Because that's literally what I would do. Like, why are you being, why are Magic Pros being salty over this? There's no reason for the Stews and the Daniels and any pro Magic player to feel like they should attack him because he's not the problem. He didn't select himself, right? Somebody selected him. And wouldn't the person selecting have the power? It's just very fascinating to think about magic pros in general and how yes they have been absolutely wiped out outside of the mpl all the money that used to go to magic pros is now at the mpl and that's why they're salty i get it they lost their jobs but leave leave this his wife alone dudes bye